Hello again crafters! Do you want to make something with old jam jars today? Of course you do! Hang around because how to make these beachy inspired uh, decorative jars are coming up next. These are the supplies that I'm using. I have an Americana Deco chalky finish paint. This one is in kind of a minty green colour called Refreshing. Then there's a Deco Art Vintage Effect Wash. This is a colour wash paint and this one is white. I also have some jute twine, some burlap ribbon. I've got these really cute metal charms with like um, a verdigris vintage kind of look. I've also got Deco Art Media liquid glass, a paintbrush, and of course some old jam jars, mason jars, ball jars, or something like that. So let's get started. To save a bit of time, I've already gone ahead and given my jars a, count, a couple of coats of this paint. This is the Deco Art Americana Home Decor Chalky Finish in Refreshing, and I love, love, love this colour. It's a gorgeous soft green, and this chalk finish paint is just lovely. I deliberately did it with a very dry brush technique, very little paint each time, and I did three coats, just to make sure that it got a really textured kind of finish to, to it, so it would enhance the vintage look. And underneath is just a, a regular jam jar, and actually I had planned to use this for another project, so it's already got a cream paint, um, and then I just did the mint on top. So that was the first step, and then I allowed those to dry. Our next step is using this Vintage Effects Wash. I'm gonna give it a good shake. And again, just using the dry brush. Um, I've got a paint brush with quite old kind of dry bristles, and using a very little amount of paint on the brush, I'm just going to brush it quickly, spread it out a lot over the jar, so that again, I get brush strokes in the paint. Oh, that was a bit more than I wanted to add there because I'm not paying attention. Um, and I'm spreading it out a long way, being really rough with it, making sure I get a lot of texture. And basically, I want to add like a, a worn kind of um, vintage creamy look on top of this mint paint. So I don't want to do it too thick. I really want to spread it. I want it to be a little patchy. I want all the brush strokes to show. Um, if there's some areas where I miss, where the paint is like completely rubbed off, and that's all good with me too. So I'm just going to go ahead and complete both of these jars with this vintage effect. Now once the paint is on, you can also use a sponge or a cloth as well and just kind of rub off in little areas or dab little areas. Oh, there's another piece of cat hair. And uh, get more of a, a vintage worn or kind of whitewashed look if you want to do that afterwards. So I'll probably go on and just brush a few of the areas where the paint is on a little bit thicker and just brush a, a little bit of that away so I get more of a, a green and kind of a, a whitewashed vintage worn kind of look. I'll do this for both jars. I've completed two coats now of that vintage wash over the top of the mint and I think it gives them a nice beachy colour. Now I of course picked the mint and white because it goes with the charms that I found but if you wanted to do um, just you know plain like whites and creams or beachy colours um, or maybe even like a nice blue they also do the vintage wash in a lot of other colours and I've got a grey so maybe even a nice blue with a grey vintage wash, wash over the top would be nice too. So my next step is to add a little bit of twine and I'm just going to add it starting in the neck of the jar here. So I'm going to add a little dab of glue with my hot glue gun just to get it started off and then I'll hide the end down in here and wrap around it'll take me a little while because i want to make sure that although it's supposed to look rustic i want to do it neat and make sure that the twine lines up so i've obviously got this quite rustic looking jute which has got lots of texture and lots of little bits and pieces to it but if you wanted a smoother string um, or a different color you know there's lots in in a nice kind of white or cream or smoother strings that you can add so every few rounds, I'm just going to add another little dab of the glue just to keep the, um, the string on there nice and taut. 
and I'll keep on going round. So this will take me a little while. I will see you back here once I've got this done. And I'm not going to go all the way. I just want to put like a little feature up here. And what I do want to do is um, put a few charms on there. So I'm also going to thread a few charms onto the string as I go. And then um, I'll cut the string, add a charm so that it's hanging down over um, and then rejoin with a little bit of glue and carry on. So this is the first one done. This was just got the string and the charms. I think that looks pretty charming, very beachy. So I'm happy with that one. I'm gonna do something slightly different for the second one. So let me bring that one over. So with this jar, I'm doing it slightly differently. I've got a roll of this burlap ribbon, but you can just cut up some regular burlap fabric too and do the same. And I've just put a line of the burlap around the center. This is a larger bottle. Uh, a larger jar so it, it can stand having more of a featured decoration on it so I've just attached it to the back there with some um, with some hot glue and then this time I've remembered to do it right I've actually whoop, where they, there they go I've strung my charms onto the string before I start and then I can just keep sliding them along the string until I'm ready to put them in place now you may also see on here, if you look very closely, there are what looks like little droplets of water and that's a really fun project, uh, product that I like to work with and I'm going to show you a little bit more about how to put these little water droplets on here at the end. So for now I'm just going to get my hot glue gun plugged in and start um, adding a little bit more string decoration and the charms through the centre here. Again I'll put it on fast forward and I'll see you back here in a moment. So the stringing and charms are done. I think it looks really cute. Now I promised to tell you a little bit more about this product that makes the little things that look a little bit like water droplets. This is the one. This is the Deco Art Media Liquid Glass. There you go. Uh, I've got the clear and it has a little um, a nib on the top like this and you can just direct it to make little water droplets. So let me just add another little one just here and they automatically oh it wasn't quite in the camera it automatically goes um, into a round shape it has a little point on it at the time that you make it come out and that gradually softens until you get like a little raindrop or a, a water drop as you can see it's um, white when it comes out so it's easy to see where you put it and then this is going to dry clear so I just need to set this down add a few more little drops onto my jar here and then I'll show you the finished finished pair so here they are finished and I think they look super cute. The colour is perfect for my beachy decor that I've got at home and I think just with a little bit of the, the rustic burlap and the jute 
um, it looks really coastal, really nautical. The little charms are excellent and just the little water beads that you get from that liquid glass, I really love it. So thank you very much for following along and watching this tutorial. It's a bit of a fun one today, how to upcycle some things that you might otherwise throw away and create something really cute for your home. Hope to see you again soon for some more painting, pouring and crafty tutorials.